Andy. Off you go. Yep. Whoa. Uh, that was Andy Ruffle. I'm Gaz Stock. And uh, stay with us, because here we go on International BMX Beach. <laughs> and obviously he gained a lot of experience from that. And as well as that, I mean, he is one of the top professional riders in the country. Woody Hops! Paul is about the captain of um, the Vincent team as well as Team UK. No longer acting captain. Gary's taken over as captain. Venice Ball to ride him. Backwards infinity roll. Into a lull mode. Put his foot down though. Bit of a pity that. But, oh, excellent. Vertical lull mode. Boomerang. That's his foot a little bit there, but considering the preparation he's had for the event, I mean, he's doing pretty good. Excellent. Very nice to 30 seconds left. Backwards peg wheelie. Okay, Paul 
Hudson. We're just waiting for the buzzer. Yay! Okay, the next competitor, Hattel Malvian from the European team. Hassel actually from uh, The Hague, 17 years old. Dutch rider taking part in Team Europe, five foot seven inches tall, and sponsored by Dino, as you can see written all over his trousers. First became hooked on freestyle when his nephew bought a BMX bike. He went over, nicked it, says, I can do that. Hey, he went for a bit of a frame stand there, didn't quite pull it off, but he's got a frog written on the back of his um, freestyle trousers. So it must be his nickname. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how he uh, got that. When he rides a green bike, maybe that's got something to do with it. Could be, could be. But he's certainly doing well, that's for sure. Very smooth and controlled. Exactly what the judges are looking for. Degree of difficulty obviously plays an important part in the routines. Nicely thrown over there. Oh, excellent. Boomerang. Peg wheelie, put his foot down there, but he's going to have another go. That's good. Nicely done, into an infinity roll. And didn't quite make it there, but pretty good so far. The general impression will be quite good. I asked Tassel earlier on what he thought of some of the other riders in the competition. He said, ungelovelich, ungelovelich. Excellent, what does that mean? Oh, it's, it's Dutch for unbelievable, so I'm told. 30 seconds to go. Okay, looking good so far. Here he goes into a quick spin. Good round of applause for that. He's getting going, then. He tries again. Excellent. Time out. Okay, the next competitor, Rich Seeger from the USA. Very North American team. Very stylish rider, known as Spidey to his mate, Spidey Seeger. Excellent. Got the 360 to start. Very smooth, very strong. The guy is radical. I mean, I've seen this guy perform a couple of times, and he really is a great rider. Excellent, five spin, 360. Here he goes, for a freaking roll back. Into a backwards bundle wheelie! At speed as well, I've Excellent. never seen it done at that kind of speed before. Very fast, I can't see how more difficult it is. Okay, there he goes, into a frame whip. Pulled it back nicely. Speed position is very oddly off the frame there. Fast spin. Balls. Yeah. Dancing on the front wheel. Come on, give play a noise. Come on. Yes, I won. Rich Seeger. Excellent. Nice. That's actually part of a, a very basic freestyle trick, but when it's wide in together with a lot of other moves, it still looks pretty good. Excellent. Most riders tend to do that off the trick ramp, but Rich actually did it on the flat, which is uh, not easy to start off that way. That's right. Okay, here we go. Into a cherry picker, I think. Here we go. 30 seconds to go. Into a cherry picker. Nicely done, Rich Seeger. Okay, remember, this is the groundwork section. Two minutes on the ground. And entertaining us at the moment is Rich Seeger, one of the hottest riders around. The ramp section of this competition is going to be something else. Excellent, come on, give plenty of noise! Noise is fuel for his guys' engines. And Rich again is not a particular... Okay, let's have to get to the Right, this bit is BMX around the world, which we're cheating, and of course we're doing during riders' practice time before the competition. Doug Valin, who you've no doubt seen in the competition now, representing the European team from Sweden. Welcome to the United Kingdom. Thank you. As far as I'm concerned, you're welcome to it. Yeah. Right, you're going to do yourself uh, a bit of flatland freestyle there, and come with me, you lot, and meet Otto Bibush over here, who is from Sweden, but you're not from a Swedish freestyle organisation. Am I right in saying there is no official organization yes you are right uh, we are in the progress uh, to form a, a association because now we have seen what you can do with an organization behind you and you have succeeded here very very good this freestyle 
Are there, in fact, competitions in Sweden now? Yes, we had one this summer, but, um, you know, Sweden is a very big country, and it's very, very hard to, to drive the kids together to, to uh, make some contest and stuff. Uh -huh. But there's a lot of kids, they are freestyling around in uh, their home. Is there, do you know any kind of figures? Have you any idea how many people are active in BMX freestyle now? No, it's hard to say because we have no uh, association. All right. Yes. Is there an association for uh, BMX racing oh, in yes, Sweden? Oh, yes, it is. There yes, is. Yes. Uh, now, if um, an organization were to be put together for freestyle, would it be become part of the racing organization as well? Well, I hope so, of course, because uh, when you have one uh, organization, you can use uh, uh, a lot of the things from the organization already. But... Uh, well, you have to manage yes, it there. Yes. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Lovely. Otto, I must thank you very much indeed for bringing your riders over here. Thanks. Considering that you have no organization behind you to get that, you've got an excellent team of riders who have come to join us here thank at International much. BMX. Thank yeah. you very much indeed. Uh, let me uh, say that uh, we are four Scandinavian here, and we are very proud and glad that you invited us to be part of this wonderful contest. And once again, we're pleased to have you here, Otto. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, and with that optimistic note, good luck to Sweden. They were getting their organisation together. They are doing well in the competition. Uh, it's back to the very, um, well, the very British, Andy, with BMX Style. OK, thanks, guys. Right, welcome to BMX Style Part 4. Now, as freestyle progresses, it becomes more and more important to entertain the crowds and the judges, of course. So the riders are inventing some quite strange ways of scoring extra points. Take a look at Ross Marshall, have a bit of a laugh with Smile Style. Now, back to the competition, it's ramp work time, Andy. I 
very impressive, aren't they? That's right. A lot of balance involved there. Turn down aerial. That particular aerial we pulled off there, again, is very difficult. One heavy, five corners! Exceptional. That, that again, guys, is a terrifically difficult trick. That's all right. Clearly a lot more at home on the ramps. Yes, I think so. I'm sure he'll score higher on the ramps than he did on the flat lines. in the world without a doubt. Just got to catch his eyes. I don't know if the cameras can catch his eyes as he comes down on the ramp. A look of sheer determination on his eyes. Excellent! 270 dropping! The judges, the judges will rock that. That's the first time we've seen this. Brilliant. Super. That 270 dropping is exceptional. Yeah. Just when it looked like Hassel was the best uh, ramp rider we've seen in this event today, look at Rich go. Okay, now he's just warming up to try and get some big air on the seven foot four pipe. Seven foot four pipe, goodness. Cross leg two. That was incredible. Now that's an aerial that we haven't seen before on BMX feet. His hands and his legs was over the other side of the frame. Incredible. Some of the aerials these guys are doing are absolutely amazing, me, and I used to ride freestyle. Oh, that's a pity. That was unlucky. That's right, he's doing very well now. Spidey straight back on the bike. That's right, but he'll score extra points for the way he came back on there. I mean, he didn't hang about. And he tried it again and came out of it perfectly. Superb. A smile. He relaxed. 30 seconds to go. That buzzer is very useful for the riders, of course. Because a lot of riders save their best aerials for the last 15 to 20 seconds. And let's see if Richie's going to do that. Oh, he goes to the top, Brilliant! That's right, let's have a big round of applause for everybody! Yeah. Right, you might have heard Andy and I talking about someone who's the unluckiest man in the competition earlier on. Here he is, Gary Forsyth. Gary, you had to drop out last night. Show us why. Ouch. Is it busted? Uh, something in here has gone. You don't know what? Crack, no. Right, how did you do it? Uh, I was doing a trick called a death plant in the quarter pipe and I uh, died. <laughs> so from what height did he come down onto the ground? Uh, about 12 foot onto my arm. Ouch. How long is it going to take to get better? Uh, it should take about three weeks, I think. All right, well, best of luck. Hope to see you in the next BMX speed, eh? Thank you, Gary. Come with me, we've got to do the scores. Up here. You've stolen me scores again. Are they ready? Right. Here we go. The scores look something like this. Dave Young riding for Team England. Flatland scored 136. On the ramp scored 163. His total score, 299. Paul Hudson riding for Team UK. On the Flatland scored 124. On the ramps scored 140. And his total score was 264. Hessel Valvin, riding for Europe, and uh, on the flatland scored 133. On the ramp scored a very good 149. His total score, 282. Rich Seeger, riding for Team North America. On the flatland scored 156. On the ramps scored 178, making the Team America North, North America score a total of 334! <laughs> Outstanding. I think we've got to get down there and have a word with Rich. Quite a score. OK, right. Cheers, guys. Rich, congratulations. Does all this crowd put you off when you're riding? Yeah, I appreciate the applause. Right, well, that's really giving you a lot of support there. And you've won this round. Guys. Standing. Rich, I don't normally say this. Hey, he was getting totally rad and really showing some air. 
Gaz, one more to go before the big final. Yeah, find out whether or not North America are still in the lead as we go into the final round of international BMX Beat. See ya. We'll be back on the BMX Beat at 9.25 tomorrow morning.